the classification system used for fracture shown in the image is so first we need to identify what fracture it is so this bone here this is radius and this is ulna we know that radius is a wider bone so this becomes radius and we see here that there's a fracture in the distal radius so basically the question is asking classification system for distal radius fracture which is Freakman classification so that's a Freakman classification which takes into consideration the involvement of the articular surface or the joint and the involvement of ulna that's a Freakman classification we have other systems also for distal radius fractures which are all these are classification systems to remember this the mnemonic is form that is F2 AUM form to remember whenever there's a fracture we use a cast which is a form so the mnemonic is form that is Friedman Fernandez AO system universal system and Milone system so out of these in the options we have Freakman classification so the answer is Freakman let us see rest of the classification systems in the options so need classification this is used for proximal humerus needs classification is used for proximal humerus again to remember remember that near is humerus we spell it as humerus that is Nikita's rad synapse is a humerus forum which makes things easy to remember so near Nikita's rad synapse is humerus so that is how we remember it is proximal humerus next is Allman classification Allman classification is used for clavicle all men have clavicle so Allman's classification is for clavicle Ficat classification is for femur so Ficat is for femur that is how we remember we spell it like that so Ficat is for femur that is femoral head avian that is Ficat and Arlet classification so just to quickly revise Needs classification Nikita's rad synapse is humerus all men have clavicle so all men is for clavicle Ficat is femur avian and Freakman is form that is distal radius so these are the important some of the few important frequently asked classification system for fractures